guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy Glitter Pig Day. Happy Dawn Day. <laughs> I love saying that. Who would have thought Glitter Pig Day would be Dawn Day? Welcome. It's Wednesday. It's over the hump day. So glad you guys are here in the Glitter Pit with me. We're going to have some fun with card class number 27 using the returning favorite for me. We're going to do use it twice this time. Well, this is the second time we're using it, right? So it's the, let me show you what it is. We're using the Legendary Ride, which you guys know I love the motorcycle. So it's a returning favorite for mine. I think we did card class number 23, which was just four weeks ago, right? Today's 27. So yeah, four weeks ago, we did card class number 23 using this stamp set. So it's the second round, but totally different cards. They're so cute. You guys requested a female rider card. So I got a couple for you today that you can use one of them for, it's like a gender neutral. And then one is definitely for a girl rider or a lady rider. And then one for a guy rider. So we got a mixed bag of cards for your riding pleasure today. So let's go ahead and flip this over. We're going to do an early bird glitter spinner. I got a doozy for you guys today. You guys ready? Let me flip it over. All right, actually, let me go ahead and put this up here. All right, so I'm going to give the glitter giveaway. You're going to win all these packs of paper. I think there's seven. So you have the Regency Park, Like an Animal, Enjoy the Journey, Delicate Dessert, <laughs> Delicate Desert, <laughs> Country Gingham, Rain or Shine, or the, and the, not or, you're getting all of them. Country Floral, and then also these flowered adhesive back trinkets. Also, they look like they're a little jumbled up, but they're all in there. I have not opened these, okay? So I will be sending this pack of paper priority, and you'll get all the goodies, all right? So all you have to do is just leave a comment in the Early Bird Glitter Spinner, which is in the live comments. Leave a comment anytime between now and when we spin. So get to commenting, <laughs> right? No time to waste on this one, but I will give you a heads up. I have the exact same pack for the end of the live stream for the um, glitter spinner for the end of the hour too. So there's two chances, one for the early bird, one for the, at the end of the hour, all right? Same thing, all right. So I've been cleaning my office, out with the old, in with the new, right? Thank you everybody for your orders yesterday and today for the big, huge sale. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys, oh, so awesome. Thank you so much for supporting Stampin' Up! and your demonstrator, which is myself. Thank you so much. That was a really busy day yesterday. My husband is home from his bike ride. Everything is good. Everything's safe. Glenn and him both returned home safe and sound on Sunday evening. So they missed all the storms. How was that even possible? I don't even know. I know they left Thursday and when they came back, they hit a little bit of a rainstorm, I think, in Tennessee. But other than that, they were good. All right, let's do it. Let me get my spinner, which is over here in the back underneath all my cords. All right. Are you guys ready? Yay! All right, let's do it. Don't worry if you're getting in late. You'll be able to leave a comment during the live stream, and then your everybody's comments will be um, for the, the end of the live stream. Glitter spinner, all right? Right here. Who is that? Who is it? Chris! <laughs> my print is like black, and then I got my iPad. See how that is with the black? Yeah, it's like I can't see it hardly. All right, yay, Chris. Woo woo. Let me write your name here. Chris, this is what you got to do. Do you know what you got to do? You got to contact me. Your name does look familiar. But just to make sure, contact me here. Right here. Dawn at the glitter pit dot com. Email me there and give me your physical street address. Okay, and what am I calling this? Um, Just a pack of... DSP with some embellishments. All right, so Chris, email me here, dawn at the glitter pit.com, spelled just like the way it looks right there. And then I will send it out to you. The sooner the better. 
Richard and I are having to go to a funeral tonight. One of our hog chapters died unexpectedly from a heart attack. He he actually had the heart attack back in February, but he never recovered. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we love Joe. Joe, we miss you. I know you can hear me. I made a couple cards for his woman, which is Deb. I made a couple birthday cards for him, and I got some funny stories to share with everybody. Richard said I should speak up and tell him my story with Joe, but everybody loves Joe. And it was like so unexpected. I mean, you know, how do we find out stuff nowadays? It's all on Facebook. And that's how I found out Richard was away for the weekend. And then that popped up and I'm like, I thought he was on the mend. I thought he was getting better, but it's so sad. So we're going to the funeral tonight. When Richard gets home and we get done here, we're going to take off and go do that. Today's actually been a pretty busy day. I went to the gym. I went to the post office. I made two pounds of hamburger this morning at 830. <laughs> I've been like crazy because I had a lot of stuff to do. I had to go to a meeting today, which ran over. So I was kind of glad that I did do all that. So then we do our glitter pit live at three o'clock every Wednesday here, Eastern time. All right, so just a couple just a couple updates in case you missed it. Maybe you've been living under a rock. I don't know. Stampin' Up! posted their last chance list, and it was really awesome that they gave it to us early. And if you had trouble reading that list, please look at, uh, I think it was Friday's video from my YouTube channel. It's the second video from this one, the live. The second one back, you'll see a big red-orange banner. And it was the last chance slash color refresh video. We went page by page through both of these catalogs. Okay. So if you missed that, please rewatch it because you don't want to miss anything. There probably are some items. I haven't had a chance to look, but I'm sure some items have sold out. And we all know that they were while supplies last, right? So hopefully you all got your favorites. But I'm sure there's still a lot left. Also, I do want to do a little shout out. There are some price increases this year, just like everything, but they're not like terribly, terribly um, increased, just like between a dollar, 50 cents, 25 cents. I mean, I know it all adds up, but um, the price increase really was overdue. So if you want to take advantage of some of those items like cardstock, the liquid glue is going up, the snail adhesive, some envelopes, the, the mini glue dots are going up. So just giving you guys a little heads up. So it might be sometime um, between now and the end of the month if you want to stock up on some cardstock that you're running low on. It will be a little bit cheaper now than, and it's not like terribly, I think it's um, 50 cents more. But just giving you guys a heads up, all right? So the retirement list is in effect officially since yesterday okay and that will be for the this annual catalog the new annual catalog will start on may 2nd which is in you know next month may 2nd these items will be no longer available after may 1st also in that video i will explain everything all the sale prices what items are carrying over, what bundles are retiring. Any bundles that are retiring, remember, the bundle price is retiring, but the items might be carrying over. But once they carry over, then those items, the stamp set and the punch or the dies, whatever was in the bundle, will be available only individually. So you won't be getting the 10% savings. So if there's any bundles that you want and the items are definitely carrying over, you might want to go ahead and get that. Okay? These are the two new host codes for this week. Actually, they're brand new host codes. This one is for a small gift that will go out probably the beginning of May. Use this host code and you'll get the small gift. Remember, do not use any host code of $150 or more. Use this host code for any orders under $150, okay? Because you're going to get Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up, which gives you free dollars to spend on anything you want in the catalogs. So if you use these host codes on a $150 order, you're forfeiting that little perk for being a hostess. And then this host code is for today's card kit, which launched today. This is the brand new host code. 
You use this host code starting today through Saturday at midnight Eastern time, and you will get this card kit. Hold on, let me find it. You will get this card kit, which is card kit number 27, which will be making all the three cards using the legendary ride, which let me show you that PDF here or the printable. This is the printable, which is listed down below. And I also posted it in the live comment section. So if you want to scroll up, the link is also there. Okay. So I post that early in the early bird chat. For those of you that don't come in early, come on over, come on over and join us. <laughs> We're nice over there. So this is the printable. This has all the items and all the measurements of all the cards. No fun folds today, but they're so cute. Trust me, they're really, really cute cards. And then also you'll have the clink, the, sorry, the clickable link for the video, which will be live tomorrow on my website. And then also the host code is listed there too. And then you can shop on my online store. That link is clickable as well. Okay. And then don't forget to check out the retirement list over there. Okay. Let me show you these cards up close and personal. They're so cute. All right, let's start with card number one. Are you guys ready? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Uh, so sorry, Dawn. What's that mean? What happened? What happened, Arliss? Oh, with Joe. I know. It, isn't that stuff been kind of happening lately a lot? Don't you guys, like, wonder what the heck's going on? I mean, seriously. Yeah, it's just terrible. Oh, also, if I could just ask everybody to be praying. Richard and I are deciding to buy um, a trailer, and we're using it for our motorcycle. So, be praying. I'm already convinced that we're going to get it, but we got to decide which one we want to get and all that. So, be praying that we make the right decision. Richard's been wanting to have a little toy hauler for a few years now. So I feel like, you know, we can do it. So we're going to go ahead and do that here one day soon. If if we end up doing or when we do it, you, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> right? But it's super cute. The one we want is black, of course, because both of our vehicles are black. His Harley Davidson is black and his other one is blue, silver, and black. So yeah, it's going to be really nice to have the trailer. Even though Richard has been known to say that he would never trailer a bike. But um, what kind of started it all was that Richard wants to take me out to South Dakota to see the Mount Rushmore and all that and do some bike riding. And that's like a really long ride for us. He doesn't think I could probably do it. It'd probably take us three to four weeks to do it. So instead, we want to trailer the bike out there and then we'll just have a really nice vacation. So... That was the plan, and then we thought, well, why not make the investment in a toy hauler, right? All right, so let's go ahead and show you guys the cards. Are you ready? This is card number one. Oh, wait, let me take this off here. Sorry, Arliss. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. I know, it's so sad. I'm trying to think of how old he was. He wasn't, like, old. I think he was born in the 50s, right? 1950. Like, he was only 17 older, seventeen years older than me. So, all right. So, card number one is for the female riders out there. For all you little chickadees. <laughs> Pink screams, girl, right? So, on my blog tomorrow, you guys got to go to my blog. I've got permission from my friend, Liana. She has a trike, a Harley Davidson trike that is in, I want to say it's in Costa Cabana. But her trike is so, oh, it's so beautiful. It's chromed out. It's turquoise. It's so, so beautiful. And it's so her. So I got a picture of her trike over on my website. She sent me a picture of it. So I took a little crop picture of it and I posted it on my website. So you guys can see it because there are so many women riders now. So this card is specifically for all you female riders out there. And... I wanted to use that really pretty mesh ribbon that is retiring. Isn't that sad? We love that mesh ribbon. But look how nice it looks with the, can you see it on the background? It kind of glistens. And did you notice the rhinestones? <laughs> 
when we'd make a girl card, we got to go all out, right? So we had to make some bling bling on the motorcycle with the rhinestones on the wheels, the headlight, and this little whatever that is. I want to say it's the carburetor, but I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get the, the memo from my husband on what these parts to the motorcycle is. But anyway, so you got some bling on there, and those will be in your kit. Okay. Now, one thing we are not doing with this kit is embossing the background. So you will need not only the die and the stamp set, but really you could use, you know, just the die and use another stamp set. Like if you have my million dollar stamp set, you could use that. But you will need the die, the Legendary Ride die. Let me show you that here. Hold on. Let me get that over here. This right here. And you will also need the metal plate embossing folder. Can you see that? That really makes the, the whole card, like, finishes it off. Okay? So, but you'll get all the pieces to die cut and the pieces to emboss. But I just can't do it for you right now. Okay? And my husband couldn't either. Okay? So, you will need the die and the embossing folder. So, hopefully you got it. Plus, did you guys get the memo on this? The stamp set and the die are carrying over as well as the embossing folder. I'm just looking for the embossing folder. I think it's over by my embossing machine maybe. I don't know. Hold on. Let me just look really quick. I don't see where my embossing folder is. Oh, maybe I won't be embossing. I did do it ahead of time for you guys. But anyway... Everything in this suite has carried over to the new catalog, except for the designer paper. So if you do love this set, this is the time to get it in the bundle and save 10%. Because come May 2nd, the stamp set and the die will be sold separately. But the embossing folder and the um, adhesive back studs are also carrying over. Yay! So we're going to use all that. Let me show you card number two. Now, this one is for your um, masculine motorcycle rider. I think that's kind of masculine, don't you? Now, I want to mention, too, I'm using all three of the silver and... Oh, no, sorry. All three of the silver foil sheets. Because when you buy the silver foil sheets, you get three different shades and, like, three different textures of the foil sheet in the annual catalog. So you can see this one has more of a lavender base. I mean, it's still like, uh, maybe not lavender, but I felt like it was lavender looking with the pink, but it worked perfectly for the female card. But I think it's more of like a gray, like a slate gray, not a smoky slate, but more of like a, yeah, I don't know. Can you guys see what I'm saying? And then this one has got some texture to it where it looks like a metal, like a like a metal, but it is in the foil sheet collection. There's three 12 by 12 sheets, one of each design. Okay. So this is the male card that I'm referring to. So card number two. And then this one can be for male or female. Very universal. You guys might remember this was one of my card sketches a few weeks ago that I absolutely fell in love with. And it is using the orange and black kind of for the Harley Davidson. Even though we decided that this was not a Harley Davidson motorcycle. It's more of like a Honda Shadow or a Honda Rebel. But it's still a motorcycle, and I was kind of going with that whole theme with the orange and black and the chrome. Now, you can see this foil sheet is high chrome, okay? So you're getting a variety of the foil sheets. So you have the, like, the slate, which I think looks like lavender. And then this one is, like, the metal. Yeah, you can see the difference, right? And this one's got some texture on it, too. Let me see if I can pick it up. Can you see the texture of it? Isn't that awesome? And then the paper is like your embossed too. So you got the variety on this one. Then you got the checkered flag. And then you got the roses on this one for the girl. So do you love it or what? All right. 
So now let's do, I got to announce last week's glitter giveaway. Let me do that really quick and then we'll get into the stamping, all right? If you guys have any questions, get ready to post them so I can see them, all right? Oh, you guys are having some kind of crappy weather too. Yeah, we just had a really bad rainstorm go through. It was thundering and ba-boom all morning. All right, so this is the winner from last week's glitter giveaway. Yay! And she's contacting me. I'm going to drop your your whole bundle of products out in the mail tonight when we go out to the funeral. But congratulations, Stephanie. Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. So she's been contacted and she has emailed me back. Can you guys just give me one second while I look for my embossing folder? Because I was wanting to emboss with you guys. Hold on. Just give me one second. I want to find my folder. Oh, I don't know where it even went. You know, some days I'm trying to be so organized, you know, and it just doesn't go that way. But I'm glad I did emboss them already for you guys. I could have swore I put it over here. But I guess not. All right. I'll show you what I did, all right? With the, well, without the, hold on. Let me look through my stack of stuff here. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and flip this back over here. Congratulations, Stephanie. All right. So we're going to start with card number one. Like I had mentioned, all three cards are using the embossing folder, which is the metal plate. Here's my pieces. Oh, this week's this week's glitter giveaway is a bunch of stuff too. So let me show you that before we start stamping. These are all the items you're going to get. One person's going to win all four items. So you're going to get this stamp set and the coordinating die. And this is in a bundle right now, but it is retiring. And I want to say this is the Ginkgo Branch. Is that how you say that? I don't know. I'm struggling. So, but you're going to get the stamp set and the die. And then you're also going to get the gingham embossing folder. And you're going to get these masking, decorative mask, which is the basic pattern. So you're going to get all four items in the glitter giveaway next week. So how you get entered for this is you're going to go over to my website, which is right here, dawnstampingthoughts.net. Starting tomorrow about 7 o'clock in the morning, leave a comment on my blog post where you'll see the Legendary Ride card class number 27. It will be the very first blog post listed on my website. Leave a comment on that blog post, and then we'll draw a winner from that blog post comments for next week all right and then if you're contacted you will if you're brand new winning you'll definitely have to give me your address but if you win and I already have your address I'll still contact you to let you know that you won to be expecting it and then I'll announce it live in next week's glitter pit all right yay so but leave a comment tomorrow and you'll be entered to win for that all right all right. Oh, I know. Me too, Sandra. I tell you what. You know what? I always felt like when um, when Jessie was growing up, and Jessie's my daughter, Richard and I, our daughter. She's like 30 right now. She's still my baby girl. But anyway, whenever she was home from school, like for the day or spring break or Christmas or whatever, I wasn't like the typical mom that would be like, oh, I... I so don't want my kids home, right? Put them in summer camp or something, you know? I love having Jesse home. And knowing Jesse was at home, safe and sound, everything was perfect in my world, right? Not that she wasn't safe in school and stuff, but it was just like when she was at home, everything was great. You know, and I still feel it. Like when they come over for the holidays or whatever, it's just like when my mom and Richard and Jesse and even Richard's dad, if he ever comes up from Tennessee, it's just like when everybody's here, it's just like, I, I must have, I know I feel like I must have felt like how my grandmother felt on Christmas when all her kids were home and the grandkids, you know, it's just something about having everybody 
home safe and sound. You know what I mean? So it was like when Richard was gone and not only that, but I was stressed out about the retirement list and that retirement list was such a fiasco. I was stressed out about that, made the video trying to get everything else caught up. You know, like my card, I was hoping to make card classes up ahead, more ahead than what we already are. But it just seemed like once that retirement list posted, it was just like it was all consuming. So I was stressed out. And the first thing that stresses me out, my rheumatoid flares up, right? So my hands, my hands were really, really bad over the weekend. But it was really weird. As soon as Richard got home, it was like everything was better. So... Some of you guys will relate. Some of you guys will think I'm crazy. But seriously, when Richard got home, everything in my world was perfect. It didn't matter if it was or not. But my husband being home, it was perfect in my eyes. So nothing could go wrong when he's home, right? And plus, I knew he was safe. And yeah, he was just home. It didn't matter. So, all right. So are we ready? But yeah, Sandra, I'm right there with you. I'm so glad he made it home safe and sound. How do you get to your blog post? Okay, so, oh, Sandra, really? All right, so you're going to go to my website, which is right here. Just type, you know what, you guys? I've been doing this for so long. I think I've been doing it for close to 17 years. I've been a demonstrator for 20 years. But I've been doing the blogging and the videos for like 17 years. So if you just Google my name, which is Dawn Griffith, my website will pop up, whether it's on Pinterest, the YouTube, whatever. I'm on all social media, mainly Facebook and YouTube. But my website is right there. If you just type it in, and that's Dawn with an S. So it's Dawn's Stamping Thoughts with an S dot net. If you type that in your search engine, you will pull my website up. And there should be a link down below in the description box as well. If you just want to click on that, go right to my blog. You can click on that, okay? But yeah, you can just Google me and I'll pop up somewhere. Somehow, some way, I'll pop up. <laughs> right? All right, so card number one. Let's get you guys the measurements of all your pieces. Now, I did do all the die cutting for myself, but you gotta need you're, you guys are going to need the die for your die cutting, okay? Because there's a lot of little pieces to the motorcycle. So you will be die cutting. But it's so worth it because the cards are so cute. All right, so your this is the Blushing Bride, which is retiring this year. Blushing Bride is your five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then your second piece of Blushing Bride, which is cut at four by five and a quarter, is your embossed piece, which will not be embossed. Remember, you're going to have to do your embossing. And this is with the... The metal plate embossing folder. I'm still looking, just glancing around, like where is... I just had it, too, in my hand. All right, so you're going to emboss this layer right here, and this is going to go right onto the front, okay? And then you're going to get two pieces. Now, you're going to have to pay particular notice on how your kit is put together, because Richard and I did this on purpose. So all your pieces to your card and the ribbon are inside of your card when you pull it out of the envelope. And then these pieces, which will not be die cut, are going to be on the back or the front of your card. Okay? So when you pull out your card, this is the way it's going to look. But these will not be die cut. And I say that because you're going to get a piece of black and a piece of the Blushing Bride and you're going to get black and pink in the die cutting area too. But you want these pieces for this layer right here in the front. Okay. These are both cut at two and an eighth by two and a half. And you're going to use the black and the pink for the front. And then your basic white. Hold on. I need my printable. Hold on. I need to get my measurements. Your basic white is cut at. Oh, two and a quarter by four. Okay. And we're going to make this piece go together like this. Right. Let me show you. I'm going to put this piece together like that. Let's just do it while we're doing it. And all you're going to do is you're just going to put dimensionals on it to connect those two layers together. This is going to be the back. 
back piece of your layers, okay? So put dimensionals on those two pieces. This is your two and one eighth by two and a half. Blushing Bride and the Basic Black are the exact same size. This is the two and a half inch side, and then this is your two and one eighth. Because then this is your, what is this piece? The two and a quarter by four. So the finished piece right here, hold on, this is not sitting right. i got to put that up together better. There we go. Okay, so your finished piece after you put these together will be four and a quarter by two and a half. Okay? So then you're just going to flip this over. And then your white piece is going to layer onto that. Okay? So that's going to be your focal piece of your front of your card. So you're just going to flip this over and put this right onto this center piece right here. Okay? All right, and then your designer paper, which is the Ready to Ride. This is double-sided. And then this piece is cut at 2 and 3 fourths by 3 and 3 fourths. And then you have a piece of the mesh ribbon, which is about 5 and a half or 6 inches. That's just going to wrap around this center piece right here, around the back, like that. So I gave you a plenty, okay? All right, and now for the pieces for your motorcycle... You're going to have a piece of basic black, which is cut at, let me, now I have a lot of pieces here. Basic black is cut at two by four and a quarter. Let me get all my pieces out so I can show you what you're die cutting. You can kind of see what the die cuts, but I did die cut all these out already just to save some time. All right, so this is going to cut out your motorcycle body, right? These are, two these are two different things here. This is the frame, and this is the body. So when you see this on your PDF, that's what I'm talking about. Motorcycle body, motorcycle frame. Okay, so the body is with the basic black, and you're going to cut that out with your dies. That's for that. And then your frame is cut out with the silver foil sheet, but this is with the kind of the lavender kind of. Doesn't that look like lavender there? I mean, it doesn't look like it with my purple nail polish. Or does it? I don't know, but I really, really like it. All right, so this piece is two by three and three fourths for the frame of the motorcycle. And you're going to get another piece, which is a scrap, or two by two and a half for the wheels. Now, these are two different things, too. You got the wheels, which are the chrome. And then you got the tires, which is the rubber. Okay, so tires, wheels. All right, so then there's your chrome for those pieces. And then you have your black piece, which is also cut at two by two and a half for the tires, right? You're going to cut out two of those. And then you're going to cut out your basic gray, which is cut at two by two and three fourths and this is for the engine which is also in your die collection which looks like this yeah like this it is embossed on one side and the other side it's not can you see it so when you flip it over it's not embossed okay so you can see that this is the correct side that's what you want facing out so that's what the basic gray the engine and then you have another piece of the <clears throat> Blushing Bride. <clears throat> Excuse me. This piece is cut at, this is scrap. So this is going to be your two and an eighth by two and a half. So now what I did is I cut the pink piece for the front and the fender and the seat the same. So you wouldn't get confused. But the black, I couldn't cut that. That's not the same. So you got to make sure you're keeping the two and an eighth by two and a half for the front. That's why we packaged it the way we did. All right, so this piece, you're going to cut out the two fenders, which are right here, the front and the back, and then the seat. Okay? So those are all your pieces that you're going to die cut, which I already did for my card. All right, so now let's go ahead and put the card together, the card base. 
I'm just going to go ahead and put my designer paper onto the embossed piece. Wish I could find my embossing folder. This is just going to go off to the left hand side with the little border. Okay, so now you're going to notice with this piece with the black, I don't want the black on the black. The idea is to make it like opposite. So I'm making the pink over the black and the black over the pink. Do you see that? So once you put your layer together, you're going to put it opposite on the front. So you're going to take that line of the designer paper right here. And you're going to put it right in the center of that line when we put the pink and the black together. So it's like balanced like that. Okay. So we're going to put that onto the four by five and a quarter, keeping that center line in the center of that designer paper, black on the pink and pink on the black designer paper like that. Oh, we forgot to put our mesh ribbon on. Hold on. We got to put our mesh ribbon on. I'm just going to put that on with the adhesive. I gave you plenty. It's like almost too much, but just wrap that around. Oh, wait, I got to wrap it around this way. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so I'm just wrapping it around the very bottom of this layer to the back. And that's going to add some sparkle to that too, you know. I'm going to add another couple dimensionals over that mesh. You would put your mesh on before the dimensionals on like what I just did. Okay. Oh, wait, I need to put another one over here. It looks like I got a lot of dimensionals, but the mesh is, yeah, that's better. Okay, so we're going to put the black, no, black on the pink and pink on the black. Right in the center. Okay. It's all about the little details, right? Okay, then we're going to pop this up on more dimensionals. So you can just put one in each corner. Is this girly enough for you guys? <laughs> you could probably really bling it out. Put some Wink of Stella on the roses. Yeah, you could really, really gussy it up. All right, so we're just going to put this onto the base. Isn't that pretty like that? Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, and don't forget you're going to have to burnish your bases. Richard and I don't. We just finger press them. All right, now let's build our motorcycle. We're going to grab our liquid glue. And we're going to put on the engine first onto the base or the body, right? So a little bit of liquid glue goes a long way. So this is going to go onto the motorcycle base. Is that right? Yeah, that looks good. All right, then we're going to take, oh, I'm going to get my tweezers. Okay, so we're going to put our wheels together. We're going to put our tires over the wheels. Okay, so I'm going to put my, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wheel. I'm just going to add the glue around the edge. Can you guys see this? Just a little bit around the wheel. What I'm doing is I'm, squeezing the glue out but then I'm kind of spreading it around so it doesn't ooze out and then take your tire and your tweezers this is from the embossing toolkit and you're just going to put that right over top of the wheel oop it's stuck here we go press that down okay so there's one wheel and the tire. And then this one. I think there's glue on this is why it's sticking. Hold on. All right. I'll put this one on to this. Same way. The less glue you use also dry faster. Okay. So then once you get the tire and the wheel together, set that aside, then you can do the body. So I like to grab it by the headlight right here. 
then flip it over and then you can add the glue and once again you're using a little bit squeeze a little tiny bit and then just kind of push it around the motorcycle you can if you also if you have the adhesive sheets you can use that I I don't know I just struggle with the adhesive sheets myself so I find the liquid glue is a little bit more easier for me to use but you use what you want all right so you can see I just got the glue spread around. Just, you know, touch it here and there. And we're gonna, oh, we gotta put our tires on first, duh. That wasn't good. All right, so we're gonna put our tires on first. Again, spreading it around. A Little bit in the center. Put it on the base of the motorcycle there this one on the back okay now we can put the frame on oh, let's grab this up here by the light we're going to put this. I always line up the handlebars first, and then it seems like it falls into place a little bit better. Hold on. <laughs> Let's move that up a little bit. There we go. Did I put that engine on right, or did I put it on? Oh, that looks good. All right, so now the fenders are the chrome so we're going to cover that up with the blushing bride i'm going to add the glue to the fender or fenders okay and we're going to put the pink on there stick did it there we go okay so far so good doesn't that look good oh I love it all right now remember the seat has the little lip on the back can you see that right here you can see on the motorcycle how it comes up the seat is the exact same way remember the passenger the back you sit a little bit higher than the rider or the driver my husband doesn't call it driver, but it's the driver of the bike. Sits a little bit lower. So we're going to put that on like this. And it should fit right over where you have your bike already. And it's going to be a little bit of the black and a little bit of the gray right there. Just like that. Isn't that awesome? I love it. All right, now we're going to pop that up on dimensionals. I'm going to put that seat down. There we go. Oh, just moved. There we go. Okay, put dimensionals on the back of the bike. Okay, and then we're going to put this on to the center of that piece right here just like that and then in your kit you're going to have three rhinestones let me see where my rhinestones are i just have three here so let me grab three rhinestones you're going to have three small i'm going to put one in the center of each of the tires the one on the back might not show up so you can put it over top of the pipes <laughs> i don't know and then you're going to put the other one in the center like I don't know exactly. When my husband comes down here, I'm going to ask him what that is. So right in the center, like right there, and then on the center of the tires or the wheels. And then you'll have a big rhinestone, a large one, for the headlight. Okay? So that is the girl card. Isn't that cute? How many of these bikes have you made? <laughs> <laughs> a lot 
I should have brought my last class over to show you those cards because they were awesome too. Yeah. Okay, so card number one is the chick bike rider, right? The lady rider. I love it. Okay, card number one. Yay. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. Card number two is your masculine. We're going to mix it up this time with this class, right? Because I know there's a lot more lady riders nowadays. All right, so card number two, pretty simple. All right, so we're going to get our card kit. Let me tell you the measurements of everything. Once again, I cut out everything, and you're going to get your pieces in the back that you need to die cut. See how different this metal foil sheet is? It's kind of got like lines in it. It makes it look like metal. Doesn't it? Yeah, so that one's going to be for this one. All right, so your basic black, that's for the bike, the motorcycle. Your basic black is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then your basic white and your crumb cake are both cut at four by five and a quarter. This piece is for the inside of your card. that in there and then your crumb cake is what you're going to emboss with your metal plate embossing folder and we're going to put our designer paper this piece is cut at what is this cut at oh yeah two and a half by five double-sided you could actually use that side if you wanted it's got the soft suede the black is more striking because it's embossed so we're going to put that onto the crumb cake. That's going to have a little edge around the sides and the bottom. Okay. And then you're going to... Am I popping that up? No, it looks like I'm just going to put that down on adhesive. I'm going to put my adhesive onto my base. I just don't want to squish my embossed area here that's going to go onto the base oh let me move that down a little bit okay then you're going to have your two pieces of your rectangle die your rectangle stitch dies which are retiring the basic black and the crumb cake these will be die cut for you i have the measurements on here i think this is your two and nine sixteenths by three and fifteen sixteenths. And then the crumb cake is two and a quarter by three and nine sixteenths. But that could be wrong. I'm a little off on my sixteenths lately. <laughs> Those two pieces are going to get adhered together. Stitch side up. And we're going to put that on dimensionals. That's going to go right in the center. Actually, we're going to go up a little bit because we're going to put our leg You Are Legendary. That's going to go up a little bit higher. I'm going to wait to put that on. Let's just wait for that. We're going to build our motorcycle first. And then we got to emboss. Okay, so here's our pieces for our motorcycle. We have our basic black. Two pieces, again, for the body, which is your two. What is it? Uh, two by four and a quarter which is the motorcycle body right here. Okay, that's going to be for this piece. And then you have another piece for the tires, which is your two by two and a half. These are the tires right here. And then you have your smoky slate, which is, or no, sorry, basic gray is for the seat. And then you have your silver foil sheet, which is for the frame and your wheels again. Okay, so we have our wheels and then the frame. And then you have a piece of basic black, which is cut at three-fourths by, I think it's either three and a half, four, yeah. It's long enough for you to pen at the end. And what you'll do with that, let me show you what you'll do with that. Let me stamp it and I'll show you. You're going to take your Versamark ink 
And once again, I'm using the embossing buddy from the, the embossing toolkit. Where's the, <laughs> don't nobody move a muscle. All right, so we're gonna take our embossing buddy and go across that piece. And then you're gonna take your stamp. You are legendary. Stamp it with the Versamark. Don't wanna lose any of my pieces. We're gonna stamp it right in the center. You're gonna do two cards this way, so you might as well get the other card out and stamp that one too. But I already did it ahead of time. So then you're gonna take your silver embossing powder, and this is from the, the metallic embossing powder package. You get silver, gold, and copper embossing powders in there. So you have You Are Legendary. You probably can't see it very good, but that's that. And then you're going to take your heat tool, which I just happen to have mine over here. And you're going to heat set that. I'm going to use my tweezers because this is a little piece, so I don't want my fingers to get burnt. Because this heat tool, it gets really super hot. Gonna let it warm up a minute. And you can see it change. Let's see if you can see it change. Yeah, can you see it changing? Isn't that awesome? It's like magic. Ta da! And then it makes it like a liquidy. It's not liquid, but it makes it shiny and embossed where it's like raised a little bit. But it's it turns the powder liquid and then it, it hardens up and it makes it embossed. Isn't that pretty? Then you're going to take your scissors, which I just had my stamping um, paper snips. And what I, I'm just going to flag the end. So I cut up the center and then I bring the edges over to the center to pin at the ends. Like that. And do the other one. Like that. Okay. So there's your, your pennant that you're going to put at the bottom. So that's why I said to put this on last. Because I want to have enough space to put that. And then that will go on top of that. So let's put some dimensionals on this. Put this at the bottom of our card, down here, and then you can put the rectangle shape up above that so it balances it out like that, okay? And then that chrome or that silver embossing powder really lights up good. All right, well, it doesn't light up, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's build our motorcycle for this one. Remember, the motorcycle is die cut to go facing right. I mean, I almost did it facing left, but it wouldn't line up good because this would be on the back side. You know what I mean? So make sure your motorcycle is always facing right with the handlebars. All right, let's build our tires and wheels again. I'm going to put the liquid glue on the wheel. Just a little bit. our tire yeah that's the back there is a back and a front to the tire even though I don't think anybody really is going to notice but there is definitely you can see and feel a slight tread maybe I'm definitely not going to be able to pick that up on camera but when you die cut it you'll be able to see it yeah that's the back Now we're going to put these, uh, oh, hold on, don't want to glue that down to my paper. There we go. All right, so now we're going to put this onto the base, or the motorcycle body. 
all the motorcycles are pretty much the same. Just different, you know, colors and stuff. Like this one, I didn't add the engine. So the chrome is going to be really more vibrant up against that black cardstock, I think. I think it is. Okay, so then that. And then you can see here, let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see like how this, I mean, all the motorcycles are awesome, but this one's just different. You don't have to cut out the engine part. With the basic gray. Okay, I'm going to turn it out a little bit. Get some on the handlebars. And then we're also keeping the chrome on the fenders and stuff too. The liquid glue is very forgiving. Maybe that's why I'm not really a big fan of the adhesive sheet, especially when it's on a detailed item like this. It's kind of like working with the tear and tape. Once it grabs it, you're locked in. Whereas with the liquid glue, it's a little forgiving. Isn't that awesome? And then to make some definition for the seat, I just did that in the basic gray. So once again, keeping the back end, the little lip there. Can you see it? The little lip in the back. Just a little glue on that. And that's going to sit on the black. Just to give some definition to the seat where that is. Room, room, or I should say, boop, 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 boop. but it's not a Harley, but that's what I would be doing. <laughs> you guys know why, um, well, my husband, the louder the pipes, the better for me. I love loud pipes. I love the way the Harley sounds, but there is a reason why you want loud pipes. So the reason is, is because sometimes people can't see motorcycles, but you can hear them. So the loud pipes kind of help that whole like, you know, hey, I'm here, look at me, even though you might not be able to see you. Isn't that awesome? Then that's going to go right on to the center of the rectangle. Ooh, I love it. I seriously love that card. I love all the cards, but yeah, that one's just screams my husband. <laughs> He's got new pipes on his bike too, so they're really loud. And new lights too. But um, my husband, he really likes to ride long distance and stuff. So um, he rides a lot at night. So having those bright lights really help with animals, you know, in the road. All right. Any questions about card number two? Do you love it? I love the checkerboard. Don't you? Like, winner. You crossed the finish line. Ugh. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. All right. So card number two. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Brenda. All right. So card number three is a little bit more involved than the other two. And you will get all the strips, which were kind of a pain in the butt. I did cut all those, but I found an easy way to do it after I did so many. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> all right. So I did put this motorcycle together a little ahead of time, but we can still put it together if you want. So here's the finished one with the pumpkin pie. This is the high chrome, the silver foil sheet, which is the high chrome. So you can see the shine on that one. All right, so here's your pieces. Once again, all your pieces will be in the back or in the front of the card that you're going to cut for the motorcycle, all right? So make sure you're putting those aside because, oh, and then also when you open up the card, I know there's like a lot of steps, but watch this video when you're making your kit and you'll be fine. But all these pieces right here are for your circle. You should have three pieces of designer paper, which are these three right here. This one and this, this one and this one. 
And they're all double-sided, so you can change them whatever you want. Okay? And then you're also going to get a strip of the chrome, the black, and the orange. Now, the black is the only one cut at a quarter inch by three and a half. The other ones are all cut at a half inch, okay, by three and a half. And then you're going to get your window sheet for your circle, but you probably can't see this here. Let me show you on the card. Can you see that here? So this is using the layering circles, which are retiring. This is the largest circle. I think this is the three inches, okay? So that's why your strips are going to be long enough to put on your circle, and then you're just going to trim it out, okay? So that's going to be your circle, but then underneath your basic gray, which is the piece that you're going to emboss with the metal plate embossing folder, this is cut at three, and what is this cut at? Hold on. Wait, i got to flip the page. I want to say three and a half by five. Let me make sure. Basic gray, yeah, three and a half by five is your basic gray. That's the piece you're going to emboss with your metal plate. And then your pumpkin pie is three and seven eight. Oh no, three and five eighths by five and an eighth. That's just going to be a little bit bigger than your basic gray. Okay, so that's three and five eighths by five and an eighth. And then your basic gray is three and a half by five. And then between these two pieces is your piece for the legendary. That's your three fourths by four ish. That's not going to be for the strip for your circle. That's three fourths. These are all half and then the one quarter. Okay. So this is a little bit bigger, but this is bigger for you to stamp that you are legendary. Okay. So that's going to be between these two pieces like this in your kit. And then you have a piece of white for the inside, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. That's good for my adhesive. We're going to put that on the inside because it is a black cardstock base for signing. Oh, and your base is cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. So it's going to sit up vertical. Okay. So four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. A little bit different. Instead of it folding like this, it's going vertical up and down. Okay. All right. So now let's put these pieces together here. I'm going to put my adhesive on my pumpkin pie. Remember, you're going to have a little tiny edge of the pumpkin pie showing like that. Is it enough on the top? Maybe not. Hold on. Can I lift it up? Yes. Okay, let's do that again. It's just a little bit to offset that against the black. Isn't that nice? Looks so good. All right, we're going to put this on with the adhesive the front right in the center okay all right now we're going to build our circle and that's just a matter of designing your pieces on how you ever however you want to make them lay out on your card or on your circle sorry so I'm going to take my pumpkin pie first my pumpkin pie strip now the idea is that I want the window sheet to be showing like clear through there to give that shine. Let me show you up close here on this finished one. You see it? But you don't have to like, you know, do too much of a space, but you have just enough paper to finish off your circle. So you will have a little space. And then whatever side you want to use more than the others is totally up to you. So I'm doing it where it's going to overhang on the circle. And then we're just going to take our scissors and cut that down. I'm going to use the checkered flag next. I'm just looking at my sample. Building this across the circle. And then the 
the diamond plate with the pumpkin pie. Who's next? And then this one. Now in a perfect world, you would do this on a square, right? And then cut the circle and then everything would be great. But you can still do it this way. I'm going to take the nuts here or the bolts or whatever and do that on the last part right here. Okay? So there's your circle covered up with your designer paper. Now you're going to flip it over. You're going to take your paper snips. And you're just going to follow that circle and remove that designer paper. Just cut it around. Sticky. Come up here. Oh, we got to cut the edge too. That one hung over a little bit on that edge. Okay, so there's our circle. That was easy. Okay, I'm going to use this one here that I've already did for the embossing because it's done the exact same way we just did it, all right? So this is the You Are Legendary on your 3 fourths by 4 or 3 and a half. You'll have enough to cut your banner on the edge. And then we're going to take this. We're going to pop this up on dimensionals. But you want to be strategic about where you're putting your dimensionals. So you're hiding them behind your designer paper. Just like that. You don't really need a lot of the dimensionals because it's just like um, popped up. Nothing's really going to be on it. Okay, so we're going to put that right in the center towards the top. I should have moved that orange piece over to the edge, but that's all right. And then you have your... Do you want me to build the motorcycle with you guys? Let me do that since it's here, right? All right, so you're going to cut out your pieces to your motorcycle. Let's go through all those pieces. Remember, you're getting the pieces that you got to cut. Okay, so your basic black is two by four and a quarter for the body. That's right here. And then your wheels and your frame are the silver foil sheet, which is right here. And then another piece of basic black for the tires. And then the, the fenders and the seat are with the pumpkin pie. Okay. So all those pieces you'll have to die cut, but they will be in your kit. So let's go ahead and build our tires again. Tires are going on first, so that's why we build those first. Put adhesive on my tire, or on my rim, sorry, my wheels. We're going to be doing an escort ride, too, for Joe to the cemetery. I don't know if that's today. We might be riding, and it's supposed to be like 70 degrees, but I'm hoping it stopped raining. Maybe that's another day. I don't remember. Okay, we're going to put the tire on the wheel. On the edge. Just like the other ones we did. And we're going to put the tires onto the, the bike. The tweezers really help with me. Plus you won't get all gluey fingers. Okay, this is going to go on the body. This one doesn't have the engine either. It's just the, the body against the black. It's nice. I like it. Thinking I'm going to give one of these cards to, to Deb tonight. 
with some money for Joe. Ugh, I just can't believe it. So this was the funny thing I was going to share with them at the funeral home tonight. Because I guess there's like a share time after 7. So um, I remember this time when Joe came over to the house. And I made his girlfriend a card for her birthday. And he was over, picked it up. And then I was telling him about... Because Richard was doing some work on our pool in the backyard. And he's like, well, what is he doing? And I said, well, let me show you. So I took him over and he had dug underneath our pool because there was something he had to fix a light in the pool, like the pool light. So he had to go under the pool, like literally under the pool. He had to dig like a mole underneath the pool. And it was like a good maybe mm, six foot underneath the pool. And... Joe was like looking under there. He's like, holy moly. And I'm like, I know. I said it was a pain in the butt. I said, but, you know, he got the digging part done. And then Joe said, well, you be sure to tell Richard to let me know if he needs any help. And I, I like looked at him. I'm like, he's already done, Joe. And he's like, yeah, that's why I, val that's why I volunteered. <laughs> I'm like, Joe. And I... Punched him in the arm, you know. I'm like, geez. He laughed. Oh, my gosh. So I'm like, my husband's already done with the hard work. He's like, I know. That's why I volunteered. So we're going to put the body on. It's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> Okay, so there's that. And then we got the orange fenders and the seat. Once again, using the liquid glue. Put it on the fender. And then use your tweezers to pick it up. There is a right side and a wrong side on the fenders. But it doesn't matter which one goes to the front or the back. They're exactly the same. So that's good. This one. Okay, doesn't the orange look good with the bike? Here, I should have zoomed in for you guys. It's so nice. I love it. Did I zoom in? Hold on. There we go. Then the seat. So I guess Richard and Glenn took second in the Tour of Honor for Tennessee. Richard was really wanting to get first, but I guess they had forgotten to take a picture at one of the landmarks in Nashville. So um, they had to go back like 200 and some odd miles. So if they wouldn't have had to do that, they would have took first, no doubt about it. So there's your motorcycle. Oh, I forgot to tell you that on this card here, you're going to get your embellishments too. I'm wondering if those were still in the bag. No, but you will get two of those in your kit, okay? So don't lose those. Those will be tucked up inside your card really good. All right, we're going to put that on dimensionals. Where's my dimensionals? Are there. Okay, we're going to put the dimensionals towards the bottom of the bike. I'll tell you why here in a second. Okay, so with the circle here, see, I should have moved this over because it doesn't look finished like this one look. So don't do as I do, do as I say. Take this orange strip to the edge and then cut it around like I did this one. It looks much better, see? Okay, they still look okay. Okay, so now the dimensionals are popping up this center circle. So when you're adding your motorcycle, you want to put your dimensionals towards the bottom because the motorcycle handlebars and the seat are going to kind of straddle the, the circle a little bit over here. Okay. You want to have enough room down here to add your 
you are legendary again. So keep that up there. So with the dimensionals popping that up, you want to pop the, the motorcycle up too, but at the bottom edge, okay? And then, oh, I got this one already off here. So you are legendary is going to go down here at the bottom like that. Ooh, I love it. And then the, where are my, let me see if I got my embellishment. I don't think I have the, oh yeah, there they are. You got two embellishments. See, these are little, so don't lose them in your kit. So you're going to get two of those, and you're going to put them at the top of the card over here. Put these right here at the top. These are the studs, and there's like a bunch of different. They got circles, you got diamonds. Yeah, it's really nice. So there's your third card. See, go over here. Take that orange strip all the way over. It looks better. Because see, it doesn't like, you can see the clear there, but this one's better. Let me just show you this one. Don't you love it? I love it. All right, so card number three. Any questions, you guys? My sister won the kit. I need to borrow it to make these. I can hardly wait to start them, Patricia says. <laughs> awesome, Patricia! It looks it looks good because the window sheet shines. I know, that's exactly what I thought. I mean, the designer paper, these two pieces and the silver shine too, but the, the window sheet behind it just like gives a reflection, just a little bit of a shine. I think you're right, Patricia. Thank you, Norelda. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right, so let's bring in the cards again. All right. Next week's card kit, I think I'm going to do the um, Dainty Delight. That stamp set is carrying over as well. So if you want that bundle, this is the time to get it because the, re the bundle is retiring. And that was a celebration paper that I think I might use with the kit. I'm not sure yet. I haven't designed the card yet, but we'll see. Okay, so there's card number. I'm going to take this one. Card number three. Card number two. And then card number one. Yay. Yay. Oh, let me take that off there. Any questions, you guys? No one I know has it for me to borrow. So sad. <laughs> well, you can still get it, Rena. Thank you, Darlene. And you know what? I mentioned on my blog tomorrow, too, that even if you don't have like a person to give these cards to that actually own a motorcycle, you could give these cards to anybody that loves motorcycle riding. Even like the, what is the, the motorcycle racing when they go around the track or the dirt biking, or, you know, any kind of motorcycle enthusiast, they would love these kind of cards. So they don't necessarily have to ride. They just love motorcycle, you know, the idea or the hobby of the motorcycle, you know. It is, I will say, I will admit for myself, it is a totally different world on the back of a bike. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so let me go ahead and put these away. We're going to do another glitter spinner. And then I know my husband is home, and I think we're just going to get ready to go see Joe. Which car do you think I should give Deb? This one or this one? And I'm talking about Joe's um, significant other, Deb. You know, Joe that passed away that we're going to the funeral. Either one of these would be awesome for Deb. I think this one would be more like for the Harley part of it. But this one would be more like masculine. Which one do you think? Let me know what you guys think. Which one I should give to Deb for Joe. And like, how much money is good? Like a hundred bucks? You think that's good for like, I don't know. It's so hard, isn't it, you guys? I hate funerals. 
And, you know, really the funeral is for the people that are left behind, you know, because we're sad. We're going to miss him. He's in a much better place, right? So we're thankful that he's there. But when our loved ones aren't here, it's like we miss them. Our lives are different, you know? So really the funeral, the showing is all for us that are left behind to share and celebrate his life or their life, you know? But it's still sad. I don't know. Joe would always pick on me. I'd always wear my hat. He'd come up and like, you know how guys hit the rim out of your hat. I'm like, Joe, stop it. <laughs> I think he just wanted to get a rise out of me. Ugh, that Joe. All right. Thank you, everybody. All right, let's do another glitter spinner. I got another pack of the paper. Let me show you the paper again. I just put a rubber band around it. I'm going to take these upstairs and have my husband pick. All right, so we have the Country Floral, the Regency Park. Now, remember, these are a quarter sheet of the 12 by 12. The Rain, by, uh, the rain or Shine, Country Gingham, Delicate Desert, Delicate Desert, like an animal, and enjoy the journey. Okay, so you're going to get all packs here that you just seen. Plus, you're going to get the flowers, adhesive back trinkets. And I will send these out um, priority because flat rate priority is cheaper than first class because this is really kind of heavy. So that will cost me a fortune with just regular first class. So I'll send it priority and you'll probably get it in two to three days. But here's the thing. Whoever wins, I need your address, all right? Don't forget to email me your address. Chris, I think, won. Yeah, Chris won the first one. Here, let me tell you who won the first one in case you missed it. Hold on. One minute here. Okay, so Chris, this is the one that won the first one. Your name does sound familiar, Chris, but just email me anyway. And then here's the two host codes in case you missed it. Okay. Uh, also, $35 order will get you the kit using this host code. You have to use this host code with a minimum order of $35, and then you will get the card kit, which looks like this. You'll get all the envelopes and all the pieces to make your cards. You will have to do the embossing and the die cutting, and of course the stamping and stuff, but you'll get all the pieces, all right? This host code, $35. Or more, just not over $150. If your order is $150 or more, you'll automatically get the kit. Then if you don't want the kit, use this number and get a small gift in May. Okay? I'm waiting for my other host code gifts, so those will hopefully be going out at the end of this week. So let's do the glitter spinner for this pack of paper. And then I'll let you guys go, all right? All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Do I have enough? Yeah, I got 7%. Look. 7% right here. <laughs> Not much. But my low battery did pop up. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. And I'll go back and check the questions. If I missed your question, just pop it in the replay. Or go to my website and leave me a comment. Or you can better yet, email me. That's what I'm here for. If you guys have any questions about anything, I can check and see if anything's on back order. Um, just know, just know that if anything is on back order, if it's retiring or it's unavailable, it's probably sold out. I'm just assuming. Okay, so Teresa, I think I have your address, don't I, Teresa? Where's my post-it notes? There they are. Teresa, good let's. Good Goodlitzen. Yeah, I got your address, I think, Teresa, don't I? Yeah, I do, I think. Your last name looks familiar. But if you want to email me, too, just to make sure I got it, right? This is for the DSP pack. Yay! Also, this is the... Hold on, let me get my drink out of the way. This is the next bundle that's going to go on my website. It's already ready to go live tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning. But that bundle of goodies 
will be on my website. All you have to do is just leave a comment starting tomorrow, and you'll be entered to win all these items. One winner will win it all, all right? Okay, so you got the gingham embossing folder. The, is it the ginkgo branch? You do. Okay, thank you, Teresa. I thought I did. Thank you. All right, perfect. I love it when I have your address because it makes it so easy, right? Okay, so the gingham embossing folder, the ginkgo branch with the dies bundle, and then you have the decorative mask, which is the basic patterns. So a bunch of goodies and one shot. Leave a comment. Random drawer will be drawn next Wednesday. And we'll announce the winner live here next week, all right, in the Glitter Pit. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Check the retirement list. Don't miss your favorites, and then I'll have to send you over to eBay, and you'll be paying an arm and a leg for that stuff. I hate it when they do that. So get it when you can get it, all right? Also, if you have any questions, let me know. Email me. You can text me. Leave it on the YouTube channel, whatever you want. Just leave, it, leave your comment right there, all right? Okay, so I'll see you guys next week, 3 o'clock, same, same glitter time, same glitter station. I love you guys. Bye.